the Schmo with the Pro with the seven time Ulster. The Mr. Basketball in the USA of 1997. The Hall of Famer T Mac, Tracy McGrady in the flesh. Henderson, Nevada, how we doing? We're doing well, man. You're bringing the energy real early, so I, I appreciate that. Listen, man, we appreciate you sharing the court. We got ones later today, but big announcement. We're bringing the Ignite here to Las Vegas, here for the G League before the NBA. No, I think it's a great thing. Uh, Henderson is a beautiful uh, community. Uh, this is a beautiful arena, and uh, I'm sure these guys will be thrilled to be uh, have this as their home base, and I'm sure the fans will come out and support them and be excited for the product that will be put on the floor. But the Schmo likes what you're doing with one, seeing who's the best one-on-one -on -one basketball player right now in the entire world. Why are you changing the game of basketball as we see it before our eyes? I'm not really changing it. I'm just really um, letting everybody know. One-on-one -on -one is the pure essence of basketball. It's the foundation. It's what we all started doing as kids. And uh, we have three-on-three, -three, we have five-on-five, -five, and now I think it's time for one-on-one -on -one to get into this space and, and everybody realize um, how important it is. Now you're a legend. Is the best version of T-Mac at the two or at the three? Um, the two and the three. Which one would you say is better, man? Because the Schmo loved enjoying you when you were lacing up for the Orlando Magic and the Houston Rockets, among other teams. The two and the three. He was a bad boy either position. We'll take it. What's the best advice you have for a Ben Simmons to resurrect his career right now in the NBA? I think Ben Simmons would be fine. You know, we all go through some personal uh, things that you know, it, that, that gets put out in the public. And uh, I think for him is to put that behind him and which it is, concentrate on getting in great shape and coming out for this next up upcoming season and being a monster. First overall pick for your Orlando Magic's Paulo Banchero. He was shut down after two NBA Summer League teams. So when do you think he's going to get to Los Angeles? Would you say it's going to be before Dwight Howard did or Shaquille O'Neal or maybe after? Nah, we keeping him in Orlando, bro. Don't do that to us now. You know, it, we, we've been in a 10-year drought, so I think Paulo and some of our other young guys that we have in Orlando is going to turn our franchise around. He's not going anywhere. Who's one NBA player you wish a prime team at could have played with during the career? Um, that's a great question. I didn't get a chance to play against KD in my prime. I, I would have loved to play against KD, Giannis, and some of these guys that are, play, that are superstars in the game now. How about played with? Ooh, played with? Hmm. LeBron, Steph Curry, those two for sure. Certainly. KD, he wants out of Brooklyn. Where would you like to see him land if he indeed gets out of Brooklyn? You know what? Honestly, New York has been wanting LeBron for quite some time. KD fits well in LA. AD, KD, LeBron, Kyrie. Uh, that rings a bell right there. That sounds pretty good to me. Now, the Schmo's a big fan of you, but we're a diehard Chicago Bulls fan. What's the Bulls got to do to make things right to get their first ship since MJ left in 98? MJ got to come back. <laughs> <laughs> MJ and Scotty got to come back. Certainly. Can we get a final message for all the T-Mac fans out there worldwide? Listen, for everybody out there that's pursuing your dream, Whatever that destination is, don't let anything deviate you off that course. The plan might change, but the destination never changes. The man who once scored 13 points in 33 seconds, the living legend, Tracy McGrady. He's the pro. I'm the Schmo. Henderson, Nevada. We're out. My man.